What's going on guys? This is Tyler with Clean Cut Lawns. Hope you're all doing well. If you haven't been to this channel before, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if at any point during this video you realize you like videos like this, hit that thumbs up as well. But my buddy, you know, I did a video a little while ago when my buddy first got his Snapper Pro um, 48 inch walk behind, hydraulic driven. But now he just hit 100 hours on this mower. Man, we hit that one on the button, 100 even. He got John Deere keychain. He's not very brand loyal, but um, but I just want to get him to do a hundred hour review video on this mower as well. It's good having friends with different equipment than I have because I get to test drive it, use it, and get them to do videos for me. But here he is. His name's Sean. Hey, what's up, guys? So, yeah, I hit a uh, hundred hours today on this mower, and since I was with Tyler, I figured, hey, let's do a little uh, follow up on the uh, overview video that I did. Um, I guess first off, as you can see, I've done a few modifications to this mower. The main one being this weight in the front. Um, they do sell mower weights, um, but I figured I have a 50 pound dumbbell. Um, I might as well make that work. So that that's one of the biggest complaints I have, I guess, is the weight distribution of this specific mower now. I haven't used many 48 inch walk behinds, so I don't know if the weight distribution is better on some or worse. but on this one on slopes going uphill um, that front end just constant you know popping up popping up um, and it just made it you know when going if you're going up a hill to come around just those un that uneven cut that just looks really bad but this has really helped 50 pounds is about you know the perfect weight and that's usually what you can find online is 50 pound weights that you know I'm sure they make them to where they bolt into here somehow or go across this front arm or uh, this little bar but you know, I had the dumbbell, you know, I may paint it red just to match the mower and stuff, but it's helped out a lot. And um, I've really enjoyed that. And then this little, just little string right here to hold the, the flap up. Um, I'm usually not around any vehicles or anything like that to where I have to worry about something flying into it. So that just helps disperse the grass a whole lot better or leaves like we're doing this time of year. Um, so that's another little modification. Also back here, I did add this sulky. Um, the only problem on this mower is you have to be careful about these little foot pedals in which help control the speed of the mower. So the faster you go, they go up and then they come back. It's kind of like a safety feature to stop. So I had to put this lower than I originally wanted to because it has four bolts that can hold it on or eight bolts but I'm only able to have four <clears throat> because if it went any higher, then it would hit these foot pedals. And uh, you know, and if I ever wanted to put this up, um, it'd be in the way of uh, this release uh, lever here. Um, but it, uh, I don't weigh that much and I've kept an eye on it and it's not stressing this area out at all. So I'm just gonna keep going with that. Um, this sulky actually came on a, 36 inch mower that I have and the 36 I use is only in the steepest areas so I didn't really need it but this one this is actually the professional the SW35 and I know they make a 25 so I believe this is the more the bigger model of Snapper Pro and it comes with the uh, FX651 uh, Kawasaki which um, you know a little over 20 horsepower which is plenty for 48 inch walk behind so it pulls me up and down hills just fine um, and now that I got the weight distributed riding on the sulky you know on slopes it does great um, really the only issue I've had with this mower is the belt that runs the hydraulics um, I was just going along and it just popped off um, I'm glad you know it didn't do any damage because it has the fans the hydraulic the, I guess the cool the hydraulic pumps and it was very close to that but luckily as soon as it did that I shut it off and actually spared my belt so I just went in there which it's a pain to get to um, put it back on and just tightened it and um, you know it, it hasn't popped off since and I'd say that was probably 50 or so hours ago so other than that it's been doing okay I do wish it had a bigger fuel tank um, it does it does like the fuel um, and it does go through it pretty quickly. Um, 
you know, I don't know. I mean, they, they maybe could have made it a little bit bigger of a gas tank, but um, you just, and uh, you know, because there's no fuel gauge and there's no reserve, so you got to make sure you know, you know, when you get off at each property, look and see where you're at. Because um, I have, with this mower especially, found myself running out a few times, um, and then you got to walk. So um, if, if they could put a fuel gauge or something on this gas tank, um, that'd be nice. My Bobcat doesn't have a, a fuel gauge, but it has a reserve. So if you do run out far away, you kick it to reserve and then get back to the truck. Um, so um, that, that just little things like that. Otherwise, the, uh, I do like this because everything is greasable. There are no sealed spindles on this uh, mower at all. Everything from the mechanism that raises and lowers the deck, you know, to the wheels, to the actual spindle, the blade spindles, even all the way up here for the handles. There's little grease fittings up here. So you have to be more conscious about greasing it, but I prefer that because I know I grease it at least every 10 hours. And I know, you know, or at least spindles and everything that I can personally grease last a whole lot longer. Um, so I, um, I'm glad that Snapper did that and um, and still, that, that, you know, one of the main reasons I bought this mower was due to this mechanism right here. Um, rather than most walk-behind mowers, you see have little pins that you take out and you have to raise and lower all four pins. While this one you just take out, you know, right now I'm at about three and a quarter. And then, you know, right there's three and you can go up. And so it just, it just makes life so much easier. Um, and really everything on this mower is easy to get to minus that belt that runs the hydraulic pumps um, everything else is very easy to get to and um, oh and another thing I'm not sure if it's just this deck or what the deal is I just feel like this mower when it's wet holds a lot more grass than uh, any other mower that I've used so I'm constantly in wet grass because I, right now it's foggy. The fog doesn't lift until 10, 11 o'clock, and even still after that, it takes forever to dry. So it's it's not like it even blows clumps, really. It holds the grass in, and you'll hear the tone of the blades changing, and then it's like, well, my deck must be full of grass, and then you got to find somewhere to uh, let it dump out, and then that becomes a whole other thing because then you got this big pile of grass that you got to go rather than it being dispersed evenly across the yard. Um, and again, it may have little, you know, um, deflectors in there that you can adjust to make it smaller or wider um, because it does have great suction and a great cut when it's dry. But when it's wet, it's, you know, it still cuts well, but it just holds all that junk up and then you, you know, and then it just, then that doesn't create the, the suction. And then um, from there, you just got to find a place to uh, release the grass. And um, like the property we're on, for example, it's, there's just not many places you can go that you can dump it and then you you know then it just creates a whole whole nother mess so but overall it's been a great mower um, again it's only at 100 hours so whenever I get to 500 I'll do another review and um, so if you have any questions again just leave them in the comments you know I'll answer them best I can or get Tyler you know to get a hold of me and then I can answer them for them um, but really uh, been a great mower just minus those few little kinks which most mowers probably have so other than the deck uh adjustment why'd you pick snapper pro over another brand well i heard that they had really good cuts i've never i'd never used snapper you know when most people think of snapper especially me back in the day you think of those little ride-on things with the one like 36 inch you know the force uh, gump mower yeah yeah and that's what you think of you don't really think of it being a quality commercial mower but then i started seeing them around more often i talked to people tyler for one said he'd seen snappers and they have a great cut and you know i, I really wasn't and you know i wasn't going for price because when you get into about this grade of mower there's not a whole big there's not a big fluctuation of price um, between the brands especially when you go hydraulic and all the bells and whistles they're all about the same price so um, I just heard you know these were great mowers that mechanism that raises and lowers the deck because I am constantly between yards changing deck height um, you know and I've heard good quality things about snapper um, 
price is good. It has a decent warranty, nothing like Bobcat, but it's still a decent warranty. And um, so those are kind of my main reasons for What other walk-behind options are in your area? I have, I have John Deere, um, which I looked at the John Deere's, but they have that thing where you have the four bars come up and you have to pull pins on all sides. Um, there's also Bobcat, but I looked at all the Bobcats and they have the same thing. Um, and then, really other than that, it's if it's over an hour drive, I haven't really looked at them. And I know that about an hour and a half away you can get right, you can get um, certain things like that. But I looked at the rights, they have that same, you know, mechanism. Um, Ferris, there is a Ferris dealer that's not too much farther away. And I believe Snapper and Ferris, they look almost identical. Um, and I believe Ferris also has this, uh, the you know, the deck mechanism here. So I considered Ferris, but Ferris does have a little bit more of a price tag. So that was kind of another reason. Um, so that, that was, that's kind of where I fell onto this was, um, it was close by they, a dealer that I've used before had it. So usually if you buy more stuff from one specific dealer, then they're gonna treat you better, which they did luckily for my Bobcat. They got me in quicker, even though they're on a six week waiting list. And um, so, it was kind of a win-win for me so thank you for your time and fun fact snapper ferris and uh ground logic are all owned now by briggs and stratton so that's why you might see the similarities between the snapper and ferris walk behinds but just a fun fact don't forget to uh hit that like and subscribe button more reviews on different kinds of equipment as we use them and put them through the test you can tell it's been used so we didn't just go to the store and pull it in the parking lot and video it we actually do uh put these things to the test but thanks for watching hit that subscribe button let us know if you have any questions